I'm here with this big cooker. What's cracking? I'm gonna put some sunscreen on and uh, get ready. Today is gonna be a massive day. Sunscreen is legit like the most important thing. Nivea yeah, Beach Protect. I don't know. Works really well. I haven't been. I got sunburnt the first day and then that's it. I only got sunburnt once and uh, it's worked a charm. So let's do it. And then this is zinc. Zinc is like 50 plus and uh, it's super thick and it just protects you. So I put it on my lips so that um, when they get chapped, kind of like, like, so they don't get chapped, but when they do, it protects them even more. See these wind chimes? They kept me up last night because that's all I could hear. It's freaking windy today. Shit. Lucky I'm hiding in a group. Just set off, headed to Wollonga. It's gonna be a massive day. It's windy as. Hopefully this warm up out to the old highway to meet the boys will be enough for me to stay with them because they're freaking fast. I hope it warms me up. My legs feel a little heavy. This is where I'm meeting uh, the boys. Uh, you just jump onto the old highway from here. There's actually signs there was one for like the map ride to Wollonga, there's a sign back there, so I think it'll be pretty well uh, pretty well signed to get there, so yeah, I just hope I can hold on. <laughs> so Wollonga is pretty much a uh, 160k ride, I think. Maybe 130, something like that. But uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a big day. And uh, maybe like 2,000 meters of elevation, so it should be interesting. Aim and Emma here. I decided to leave without the boys because they were being late. So we were like, right, I will just go. And it's much more enjoyable until until they catch us. Just cruising for now. Up to Sterling. We found the Intervello boys finally. Nathan's bailed. So we're just cruising. I feel like this, we're taking the arrows that Matt points us to, Matt the clothing brand, and they're just taking us on all these dirt roads. Man. I was like, there's no way we're in the Flats, because of gravel road. We are totally on the yeah, road. Um, that was just me, by the way. Oh, yeah. There's another flat. It's not Jordan for once, and uh, this is this is this is steep. How how much do you reckon this gradient is? Lots. <laughs> do you reckon it's like twelve percent? Yeah, probably. Look at this. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe if I put the camera flat, you can freaking tell. I feel like I'm falling over. It's steep, and uh, this is not good. But the view is lovely. Look at that. through some pretty insane crosswinds getting here but we have made it to McLaren Vale where they start from but we're just cruising around anyway gonna get some breakfast so here we are this is a roundabout so we all move from as well we all move together and this, from about here we're about 50 k's an hour Okay, we're all nice and we're tucked. I peel off. Yes. Yeah, Ian moves forward, Ian peels off. And then we keep going until the big dog hits about 55. Yeah? Okay. That whole scenario is just for a king of a mountain on the street they're staying on. Everyone else has their meals. Yeah. You're saying complicated though. Yeah. 
Mine was the absolute easiest. It was just literally a ham and bacon and cheese croissant. And everyone else's is super complicated. It's so yummy. And, oh, no, shut oh, up. Breakfast was the two camel cups. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm so hungry. Peloton's coming through. Yeah. to Wollonga. There's people everywhere. Also cars everywhere. But yeah. It's also a quite a nice day. It's not too hot. So when we stop it'll be good. Yeah. Cruising up Wollonga now. I got some coke. And it is so windy, so windy up here. Headwind, won't be good for the riders. We're just on top of this hill. We've got the hill behind us and uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good up here, we've got a good view. And uh, we wait for them to come through for the first time. And then they'll come through one more time. They'll be attacked everywhere. I would say the ignorance of some people is really starting to tick me off. I mean, come on people, get off the road. There's a motorbike behind you. about to happen. Holy shit, I thought it was falling. This, this, is, this is it, this is the end. It was a good stage, good stage to watch, and uh, the helicopters are still buzzing around, but we're gonna head home. Yeah. Stopped the servo and uh, we just descended the freeway. I've never been so scared on the bike. I lost one of my t-shirt bottles when I hit a bump and I'm just like genuinely shook up on how fast that ride was and like, I was scared I just wanted to go home. I'm here with this big cooker. What's cracking? How about you clean your lens? You need to clean it. How about it's a lens cover, man? It doesn't matter. It's got it's fingerprints fine. You all over it. You need to sort that shit out. Oh, mate, can you just. I've been here for two minutes, haven't seen you for a year, and you're being a dick. I was saying nice things to you. I was saying how lean you are at the moment. Yeah, and I, I said I can't say the same about you. I know. Like, how nice is that? I was nice, and you just went, tore me a new one. Yeah, that's because you need to get your act together, mate. You need to pull yourself together and go riding. You're so harsh. I'm out of here. <laughs> What's going on guys? That's the end of the vlog today. I am absolutely cooked. What are you doing, Nathan? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm, I'm roasted. But it was a good day and good afternoon in the uh, car park climb pickles. And um, yeah, tomorrow's the last full day here and we're just gonna go for a cruise in the morning and then end up uh, watching... Come here. Get out. 
watching the uh, super crit in the afternoon and see what happens. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be the last two down under vlog and that's the end of the vlog. See you on the next one.